Hi, I'm Todd Hempfner, Vice President of Atlas Molded Products. I'm here to talk about something that's 98% air, 2% plastic, and 100% misunderstood. Expanded polystyrene, or EPS for short. Atlas EPS foam. You probably think that foam packaging is bad for the environment, that it uses toxic chemicals, is a waste of raw materials, and can't be recycled. Well, you'd be wrong. You see these little guys? These are polystyrene resin particles infused with a low global warming potential blowing agent. No toxic chemicals included. If they were toxic, you think I'd stuff some down my pockets? Please don't do that. Then we throw them in this bad mamma jamma. This is where we add our secret ingredient. What's our secret ingredient, Jeff? Steam. Steam. Just steam. Now let's mold this into our final product using our secret ingredient again, steam. Bam! What once was a jar of resin is now a cooler. 98% air, 2% plastic, 100% awesome. You probably think that lightweight, sustainable products are flimsy, like those paper straws nobody likes. Now, while our products are made of mostly air, they are exceptionally durable. Let me show you something. Just a little higher, Brad. A little higher. Perfect. We're about to do something incredibly irresponsible. Oh, yeah. All right, Brad, hit it. Oh, yes. Perfectly fine. You can have this one, Steve. Really? <laughs> no. Have you ever gotten a chilled perishable delivery only to have it ruined? Ooh. Having to throw away a week's worth of meals isn't very sustainable, is it, Brenda? Brenda? Well, that won't happen with Atlas EPS. You may think other packing materials are easier to recycle. They want me to do what? It's not okay, is it, Connie? Mm -mm. Wow, Stephanie, it's a lot of wine chippers. No judgment here, though. We'll recycle any EPS you bring us. You see, it's so simple. Anybody can do it. Look, we're not here to make foam sexy. That's just a bonus. We're here to protect your stuff and the planet. So quit feeling guilty about foam packaging. Because here at Atlas, we've got Mother Nature's back.